Danielle Tavares, and I am a new organizer with Reclaim Rhode Island. Thank you, thank you. The first thing I learned about the Supreme Court was that their decisions set a precedent. Think of the big ones that just popped into your head. Brown v. Education, Roe v. Wade, Gideon versus Wainwright, the list goes on. The court has made decisions that allowed me to get an education, my mother to learn when she immigrated here from Cape Verde. Those decisions also allowed women access to spaces that repelled their existence and gave us a little bit more agency over our bodies. That's a good thing. The court has also made decisions that legalize gerrymandering, support mass incarceration, and devastate workers' rights. Mm -hmm. Those decisions likely affect you, someone you know, someone you love, or even someone you interact with on a daily basis. Decisions upon decisions that affect the very framework of how we live our lives, dependent on the minds and shoulders of nine individuals. Nine individuals that interpret and vote on the law, but in reality, make political decisions hostile to majority public opinion. Decisions that especially affect the lives of communities that are already fighting for their right to live, to breathe, exist in a country whose framework leaves them on the edge to fight for themselves, to fight for ourselves. Now is the time for our representatives to fight for us. I began this brief speech mentioning precedent. Didn't Republicans, Mitch McConnell, Trump, etc., the whole crew, set the precedent that no Supreme Court vacancies can be filled in an election year? Forget 11 months before an election, how about two? This hypocrisy means another nail in the coffin of democracy where people have had to fight for every bit of democracy and freedom that we have. But pointing out hypocrisy won't stop Republicans. That's right. Defeating Republicans won't warrant a just society. Organizing does. That's right. Organizing created the biggest protest in Rhode Island's history. 10,000 people marching to the, to the State House, joining together, organizing, unseated a 10 year incumbent in a high, in a predominantly white working class district in Pawtucket. See, I have not been organizing for long, but what I saw this year, especially by the amazing organizations that co sponsor this event, is that if enough people mobilize, they cannot be ignored. We cannot be ignored. If enough people hold up a space, canvas a district, hold a mic, people can be unseated, systems can be overturned, and we will be heard. I don't want to just be heard, I want to be listened to. I feel like we, the people in Rhode Island, have set another precedent. In these past elections, Rhode Islanders have shown if you do not listen to our voices, you will simply be replaced. Yeah. Senator Reid and Senator Whitehouse, stand with your people. Block the Supreme Court confirmations and maybe the people will let you keep your seats. Listen to those you serve. Yeah. 